Got its trained uh, Guga Kiertens. Well, the big problem that he's going to have. Tennis before <laughs> the end of the night. Take you long, John, to guess what his other favorite sport was. Not much of a serve, uh, certainly second. He tries to pop the first one. Whew, thank God. <laughs> Misses with that backhand, so Nadir. I want to play for many more years. More games like that where he takes care of business quickly. Maybe he's ready for every to take advantage of every shot if possible. That's a, that's a good way to be. Great. Same with that one. And we got us 100 miles an hour. They're trying to close out Andujar. Deuce. Isner and Malfis on serve. And that's beautifully done. You follow those other men. Four set. Tries to sneak in. Shots. We don't see that down on the challengers and no. the futures. Nadal continuing his from the Dallas a pretty tough ball Did a good job there taking that high ball above his shoulder perfect serve there Crushing forehand win. Oh. That just hooks. No, that's too bad. Future Silva throws in the double fault, and Nadal 
Takes the second set, six games to one. One love in the third. Deuce Silva serving a deuce. 6-2, so he's up two sets to love. He starts off the set serving, which is a nice added bonus. Well, Nadal yeah. gets the break up. Well, I think he'd probably have to put him the lead off because he had a lot of fire. And you, and you want those guys to try to make things happen. And I, and I probably have to put him at shortstop because he was a guy that could cover the whole field. Again, how was the, 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 the last month of the season shaping up for you? Yeah, well, your tennis game, by the way? It's non-existent. Uh, my lovely wife, Kim, though, loves tennis. If anything to get on base. Yeah. Who was the guy, Brad? You'll remember this. I, yeah. Break point again for Rafa. Oh, unbelievable. Gosh, that is so good. I mean, you work so hard if you're due just. For guys that make you work on every single point. Dal talks often about his passion. <laughs> the ticket is booked. Yep. That's good. That is mighty dis Again, not a lot of resistance. But I'm not sure there's many that can give him much resistance the way he's lucky. But Ducha Silva, not the guy to do that. A good effort by him. But Nadal brought out the steamroller tonight. Remember, Isner is in this section of the draw. So if they were to win another, well. Rafa, phenomenal match tonight. What were you most pleased about in your performance? Well, I think uh, I was solid with myself. That's always very important in in, in this court. That's uh, during the night sessions the wind is, is less, so it's a little bit easier to play than during the day session. I think I I played well. I started a little bit slower, but uh, then when the match was coming on, I I felt that playing I was playing better and better. Now, so for me, just be back here in this great court is amazing. We we have the chance the. The play in the night session after two years is, uh, is a great news. So just thank you very much, everybody, to stay here supporting our sport. <laughs> this summer on hard courts, you've made a much more conscious decision to play offensive tennis. Has that been something you've really been working on the last few months? Well, I'm trying to play more aggressive. The, the, the real thing, I, I didn't have a lot of chances to practice a lot. Now I get injured for seven months, and when I felt a little bit better, I practiced around three weeks, and I started to, to compete in our time. Now. So just the, the idea to play more and more aggressive, uh, that's something that we were trying to, to improve during all my career, but it's, it's more a mental thing than a practice thing. Okay, I gotta ask you something. I see you sitting on the changeovers, sometimes very focused. Do you ever look up at the board or happen to see that, that guy up there dancing in the stands? Do you keep an eye on what he's doing a little bit? Well, sure, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I play, I'm a focus player, but during the changeover, you have time to watch a little bit what's, what's going on around, and this guy was really, really amazing. <laughs> Good fun of it. Can you bust a move yourself? Uh, no, not, not that well. <laughs> All right, do you check out the draw? The draw? Yeah. Do you know who you play next? Yeah, I play against Dodic. All right, what are you expecting from Ivan Dodic? Well, he's a tough player. No, I, I had not a very good memory uh, playing against him in Montreal uh, two years ago, I think, 2011, that I lost uh, a very tough match around uh, very, very close in the end of the, of the third set. He's a great player. He had already two great wins against uh, Verdasco and uh, Davidenko today. So he's a dangerous player. I have to be playing very well, and that's what I'm going to try. Moving on to the third round, Rafael Nadal! <laughs> <laughs> but what I really want to know is I can go my way That's
Got it. It's trained at Guga Kiertens. Well, the big problem that he's going to have. Tennis before the end of the night. Take you long, John, to guess what his other favorite sport was. Not much of a serve, uh, certainly second. He tries to pop the first one. Whew, thank God. <laughs> with that backhand, so Nadeau. I want to play for many more years. More games like that where he takes care of business quickly. Maybe he's ready for every to take advantage of every shot if possible. That's a, that's a good way to be. Great. 